Here to share the latest update on a new BEC attack. This news actually came out of uh, Microsoft. And what they did was they posted a really interesting uh, perspective about credential phishing and a new attack they're calling adverse, let me see, adversary in the middle. So the way that this phishing attack works is an attacker will go ahead and create a phishing website for you to click on once you go to the phishing website. Run the editing from the future here. It's phishing emails that have an HTML payload that have links to credential phishing sites. The user will click on it, be redirected, and in a session cookie, which is a piece of tracking that can be used to authenticate your information, they will use that session cookie in order to authenticate with the email account associated with the attack. So that type of attack is not new. However, the BEC angle where BEC actors are using that is. So the way BEC actors are using it is they're using this credential phishing method in order to gain access to accounts. And once they have access to the accounts, within about five minutes per Microsoft's blog, the scammers will go ahead and start attacking and trying to send invoice requests out to your organizations and out to other parties. In addition to that, some of the attacks that they've seen, there's over been over 10,000 campaigns that they were able to track. Some of the attacks that they saw, the scammers were setting up uh, persistence on the email accounts when, by using four rules. Once those four rules were set up, they would go ahead and continue watching and waiting for different invoices to come through and they would check the account within every couple hours in order to send a tax from. Um, they saw some adversaries sending multiple uh, campaigns out from the same account. So this is a new method to kind of keep an eye out for the business email compromise side. Um, again, this is I know this is a little bit of auto format and stuff will not, but if people like it, let us know because it's a uh, cloudy with a chance of cyber. So again, if you guys are interested, check Microsoft's blog out. Uh, really cool stuff to be aware of and to keep an eye out for how scammers are continuously attacking with business email compromise. You know, number one cyber threat out there, unfortunately. So cheers, y'all. Have fun. Take care.